This video will demonstrate a couple more three finger gestures. We're going to take a look at the three finger double tap and the three finger triple tap. So the three fingers, you're going to hold your fingers apart. You're going to double tap twice quickly. So I'm going to do one, two, one, two. Speech off. And voiceover says speech off. Now, this is talking about the voiceover speech. When I drag my finger around the home screen, you can still hear the ear comes. You hear the click, 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 but voiceover is not telling me what's there. This is a toggle gesture, which means if I do three finger double tap again, it's going to turn the voice back on. So I'm going to show that three fingers, one, two. Speech on. So now the speech is back on. So this is also called mute and it, or the voiceover speech on and off. Now, if I do three fingers, triple tap, three taps, one, two, three, it's going to turn the screen curtain on, which means the screen's gonna go completely dark. I'm gonna do that now, one, two, three. Screen curtain on. So now voiceover still talks. Calendar, maps, camera, photos, join, me. But to open. voiceover still talks, but the screen is completely dark. This does give the user a lot of privacy. It also helps keep the battery from running down as quickly. Um, during a test, you might want to have the student turn the screen curtain on so other students can't look at their answers. Again, it's a toggle, so three finger triple tap. We'll turn it back on. One, two, three. Screen curtain off. Now it's important to realize that if you turn speech off and you turn the screen curtain on, then it appears that your iPad is broken because everything is dark. Let me go ahead and turn the screen curtain on again. One, two, three. Screen curtain on. Everything's dark, Photos, camera, but voiceover still works. Double now I'm going to do a three finger double tap. Speech off. So speech is off and the curtain is on. So all you hear are the thunk, thunk, thunks. So again, these are toggles. So three finger double tap. Speech on. My speech is back on and three finger triple tap. Screen curtain off. Okay, and the screen curtain's off, which means I can now see my screen. Now, the one thing to know about the three finger gestures, three finger gestures are also used for Zoom. So if you have Zoom enabled on your iPad, even if you're not using Zoom, as long as it's enabled, then your three finger double tap to turn speech off is actually go not going to work. It's gonna be a three finger triple tap. So again, that three finger double tap changes if you have zoom enabled, and it now becomes a three finger triple tap to turn the speech on and off. In order to turn the screen curtain on and off when zoom's enabled, it's a three finger quadruple tap, so four times. So let me demonstrate settings. that real One quick. Item. I'm gonna go into settings. settings. I am in general, I'm gonna go to accessibility. Um, accessibility, button, selected, vision, heading. And I'm going to go down to Zoom. Selected. Zoom. Off. So now I'm going to turn on Zoom. On. I'm going to go back to my home screen. Now when I do a three finger double tap, let's watch. Three fingers, one, two. And it's zoomed. So again, the three fingers are used for scrolling with Zoom, to initiate Zoom. Um, all of your Zoom gestures are three finger that's why it changes so now i'm going to get out of zoom by three finger double tap and i'm going to do a three finger triple tap speech off so that turned my speech off and turn my speech back on three finger triple tap this is with zoom enabled one two three speech on now let's take a look at turning the screen curtain on when zoom's enabled i'm going to do a three finger quadruple tap one, two, three, four. Screen curtain on. And again, one, two, three, four. Screen curtain off. 